look at my and eye and how inflamed it is and i've been trying to wash my eye out to try to get the burning sensation to stop and i can't stop blinking because of how painful it is right here i'm sad and unhappy hello and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is sarah and make sure that you like subscribe and you hit the bell twice so that you never miss a video and today we're gonna do a spooky halloween inspired look and you're gonna see this after halloween but it's fine don't worry about it galaxy slay was nice enough to send me this necklace and if you guys would like to purchase this you can get it for 30 percent off if you use my code sarah okay so i'm gonna use my foundation stick as always i'm just gonna carve out in my t-zone where i want to go I'm sorry that the lighting is so bad, but there's nothing I can do about that. I've been trying to like fix it by opening up the curtains, but the lighting is just not changing, so bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna give myself fake blonde brows today because I didn't feel like I didn't feel like bleaching my brows again. I think I'm gonna wait a few more months before I do that, but <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use a light yellow eyeshadow and I'm just gonna put that into my eyebrows and it's gonna give the illusion that my brows are blonde. I forgot to blend out my concealer. Okay, and now I'm gonna contour. Okay, after I blend on my contour, I'm going to set my face with the Milani Make It Last. And I really want to try this um, setting spray because I've heard from a lot of makeup artists that the setting spray is really, really good. So, let's see. It has a good smell. Like, it has a really nice fragrance to it. I actually hope it doesn't have fragrance because that might be bad for my skin, but we'll see throughout the day. We'll see the um, after I do my full shift how it works. It said it's it's three in one. It corrects, it primes, and sets, and hmm, it should last up to sixteen hours. So we'll see. Okay, so now my eyebrows are blonde, as you can see. I can't really move my eyebrows too much. Okay, but yeah, now I'm going to set my contour and then we're going to bake. I finally watched Fight Club again, like, cause me and this, um, me and this person were mutuals on social media, and they make films, you know, they do movie commentary, and I really like value their opinion on movies because they know really good films. 
so we were talking about Fight Club and they were like that movie was just so queer coded it's so gay I'm like is it like I never noticed it but now like watching it again I'm like oh wait a minute maybe the reason why that guy was struggling so much is because he was struggling with his sexuality or something I don't know there's a lot of like under a lot of gay undertones in that movie like they're not gonna outright and say like you know but you can kind of tell and then like you know like when um the main character the protagonist he first meets tyler durden and then he starts you know staying with him in this rundown house that you know obviously he's squatting in there he doesn't own the place and they're living like a couple for the first few weeks it's just so like hmm but i don't know how nobody noticed that this man was just having delusions and imagining that there's a whole other person in his life and nobody ever noticed that Okay guys, my sister just came up with a, a good idea, so we're gonna change the look and we're gonna do a winter uh winter ice princess look. Yeah. They come out of the fridge, the I'm gonna use my Urban Decay 24 hour 20 oh no 24 7 inks pencil and this is in the color zero. I'm gonna use that to tight line my eyes. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm dropping everything. Okay, I have a surprise for you guys because earlier today I made this and no, it's not crack. It's um glass shards and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those on my face. And now, I know what it could look like, but that's not what it's going to look like. So I put one sugar glass on my face and I have the other ones that I'm getting ready to put on. And I'm going to start doing my lips. So I'm going to line my lips using this MAC lip pencil in the color Vino. Freaking hand sanitizer squirts in my fucking eye. Didn't even get to take any pictures. Nothing. Look at my fucking eye and how inflamed it is. And I've been trying to wash my eye out to try to get the to try to get the fucking burning sensation to stop. And I can't stop blinking because of how painful it is right here, the top of my lid. And it's it's harder to get it, whatever is in my eye out because I have a full face of makeup on and I'm supposed to be on the floor right now. And I can't. This is so fucking ridiculous that some shit like this would happen. This is literally the next day after I finished my shift and I had to go to the doctor. Um, by the way, don't ever go to Associates MD. They overcharge you for fucking everything. They lie on their bill statements. Um, anyways, so I was sitting there in the chair for two fucking hours waiting to get seen and it was an emergency. Okay, I'm done. One hour later. 
I'm still waiting and as I'm sitting there in the waiting room like my eye just keeps throbbing in pain and it's the most fucking annoying thing because you cannot rub it that'll make it worse two hours later 20 minutes later there I am in the waiting room and my eyes just fucking throbbing it's like needles in your fucking eye like I would never wish this on my worst enemy like can y'all hurry the fuck up like and check me out so I can get my eye looked at I'm just praying that someone will be able to help me because this pain in my eye is like really bad and it's something serious like look how inflamed my eye is and it's like a shooting pain shooting pain like right on my above my eyeball it's like it's really painful <laughs> And I told my manager yesterday, like, when I was going to work, I, like, my eye, my eye, like, you know, I got hand sanitizer in there. She's like, oh, that's not serious. She's like, oh, I thought something happened to you. Because I was, when she, she called me on the phone, because she was like, oh, um, you know, your shift started, like, 15 minutes ago, blah, 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 blah. Like, and I was crying on the phone because that shit hurts so bad. It just happened to me. And she's like, oh, that's not serious. I thought something serious happened to you. But literally, yes. Beep boo boo bop boo boo bop. Beep boo 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 bop. Beep boo boo bop. Bitch, I got fucking hand boo -boo sanitizer in my eye. That beep boo boo beep. And she's bop. Like, beep. Boo boo bop. <laughs> what I really think happened, like, forget freak accidents. Like, what I really fucking think happened is I think that. I'll just put it on the screen what I think happened. Um, but yeah, that's what I really think happened. And because of that, I think that I don't want to, I don't want to work there anymore. I know I don't want to work there anymore, but this is like just further confirmation. Yeah, I'll have a hash brown. As you can see, my eye is inflamed, but I just got... I'm going to right now. I've just got my eye drops and I'm going to put them in basically and these eye drops were seventy dollars they were 140 but um, my mom had a discount so three days later the redness and swelling went down and so i went for a follow-up because i was still having trouble sleeping at night because of the pain in my eye but it looked like it's healing and getting better so yeah i was happy about that people i just left the eye institute and i cannot see shit i can't see a lick of shit nothing at all um my vision is blurry i asked when it would wear off they told me a few hours um fuck i'm walking down the street because i'm trying to find somewhere to eat because i'm hungry but it's hard to i can't even read what's on my phone i can't read anything so I'm trying to type in food near me and I'm trying to make out the words on there to see what they say. It's hopeless. So I'm just gonna keep walking and see if I find any food nearby. Mm -hmm. Um, how do I feel? I feel disoriented. Oh fuck. Applebee's. I don't want any Applebee's. Let me spill some tea, y'all. I have to put my sunglasses on because it's straining my eye to not wear them. Even though I can't see less. But whatever. My manager just messaged me like, oh, you're supposed to be here at 1.30. I'm like, no, I never accepted that shift. And so this girl, we're just going to call her China. China's going and telling the manager that I did accept it on her behalf. I'm like, first of all, we never had no conversation about switching shifts. And then second of all, I never accepted it, which means that you did. He's like, oh, oh, well, you were supposed to be here. That's your responsibility. How is that my responsibility? If somebody goes in my account, if they go in my personal account and switch their shifts with mine, how is that my responsibility? It's your responsibility as a manager to take care of it. And I made sure to notify them weeks before, just like this always happens with the days. Like I'll notify them about it and they won't do it. And then they'll try to throw it on me. 
this is why I take screenshots of shit. This is why I do screen recordings because people love to lie on you, especially when you're young. People like to lie on you because they think you're stupid. But luckily, I have the screenshots, so I I know what happened. And now they're telling me, oh, well, if you don't come into work today, it's an unexcused absence. But I'm like, I never, I'm not scheduled for the day. I don't understand. So I don't know what to do.